Hi, I'm Hannah, and this is my Justice Vlog titled The Issue Against Birth Control Through Feminist Theology. Under Trump's reign, many women fear for the possible cessation of easily accessible birth control through the scope of feminist theology and Elizabeth Johnson, practical resolutions come to light. Upon Donald Trump's election and discussions of a stricter Republican government, many women around the country are considering long-term forms of birth control, such as intrauterine devices, or IUDs. Considering that a loss of affordable Full birth control strictly affects the rights of women, sexism is undoubtedly at large. In Elizabeth Johnson's book, She Who Is, Johnson describes the ways in which feminist theology understands religion from a feminist perspective. Johnson states that the social sin has debilitating effects on women both socially and psychologically, and interlocks with other forms of oppression to shape a violent and dehumanized world. The social sin Johnson speaks of can be translated to sexism against women. In the case against access to birth control, it is the mix of sexism as well as economic status that has negative effects on women. By making birth control more expensive, women of lower income households will no longer have access. Thus, it is a mix of blatant sexism and economic suppression that creates for negative effects on women. Johnson breaks up feminist theology into three segments, method, criteria, and transformation. It is through these three elements that the issue of birth control can be resolved. In solving the issue against birth control, the issue must be deconstructed and then reconstructed once again. Furthermore, because the roots of the problem are in sexism, by relieving the problem, all humans will flourish. Lastly, it is the system that must be reformed. All blame cannot be tossed under Donald Trump, and instead, the system in which it has come about. Thank you.